Today's painting is called Autumn Behind the Barn. Our paints today that we'll be using is black, white, grass green, light green permanent, light blue violet, burnt sienna, orange, sap green, burnt umber, phthalo green, medium yellow, crimson red, and yellow okra. The brushes that we'll be using today is a number 10 flat brush, a 5 8 angle brush, a number 18 bristle brush, a half inch mop brush, a 10 over 0 liner brush, and a number 4 flat. Also going to need a pencil and a ruler. So the canvas we're going to be using today is a 12 by 16 stretch primed and ready to go. Okay, I'm starting out this painting with my pencil and my ruler and I'm just making some decisions. You don't have to use a ruler if you don't want to, but I am. <laughs> All right, I am coming over about eight inches. I'm just gonna put me a little mark and I'm gonna come up about nine inches and just bring that down. It's not very dark, is it? It also looks like it needs a little sharpening. Okay. So if this is eight inches, I know I, my um, center is going to be four. I'm going to come up to my center. And then at this point, um, I'm just coming down about a fourth of an inch to a third of an inch, something like that. And I'm just drawing oops, out the line. You could use a ruler, but that one I can eyeball. And then I'm just going to come here. And so uh, that is our barn. So I have my um, large bristle brush. I have um, light blue violet and white on my palette. I'm just going to pick up, uh, I want more white than I do the blue, the uh, light blue violet. But I'm just going to come in here and start rubbing it in. I'm just coming down about two inches from my roof line. I've got my um, 5 8 angle brush and I've got black paint on my canvas. And I'm just going to come in here and put a little bit down. And I want this to kind of look like board. So what I'm going to do is go over it with the black and then come back with um, my, my top coat. Let's just see if I can just get these. They don't. 
don't have to be straight. It's an old barn. I'm going to come back in here with some my angle brush and some of, I don't think I got enough phthalo green on my brush, but I just want to put some of this down right now. Just going to grab um, phalo green from this point and start trying to get that block off my brush. side I'm just putting I'm just laying some paint down um, I'm just putting the phalo um, green and I'm just kind of rubbing it on there because um, it don't I don't it don't need to be straight I just want to get some color on now it doesn't matter how far it comes out And then I'm going to pick up some white with my phthalo and start coming in here, trying to get a little lighter color. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of, um, I don't really care about blending this in. You can just they can just mix together. This is just a background and that's why I'm trying to get it a little lighter. I may let this dry some and then come back in here and do some more. I'm back with my um, number 18 bristle brush. It's dry and I'm just going to pick up some white now and I'm just going to swirl some fluff in there. I don't, um, I'm not trying to make clouds so much as, well I guess I am trying to make clouds. <laughs> I just want some, some white in there and then I'm going to bring some blue in there. I'm just going to pick up some of the, um, the light blue violet and I'm just going to come in and kind of swirl some of that in in just different places. I just kind of want it to blend in, but I don't want it to be everywhere. It's an out of focus sky. That's what we're working for. And I don't want it to look like little blue pokey dots all over it either, so I kind of have to blend it in 
around the edges so it don't look like little pokey dots. It just kind of looks like it's just blends in. You can do as much of that or as little as that is that you want to. Okay. I have a number 10 flat brush and I'm going to bring that in and put, I have um, crimson red on my palette and I'm going to put some of that on my thing. Now I am putting this kind of thick because, um, but I still want to be able to see the, the black underneath. But it may have to have another coat and if it does, we may lose that black, but that's no big deal. I mean, it's, I put it there if I need it. And if I don't, if something happens and I don't use it, that's okay. All right, so what I did, I'm still doing it. I haven't finished yet. Um, I've noticed that not all of my uh, red was covered, all the white underneath was covered. So I've come back in here with my bristle brush and I'm just kind of scrubbing it back in to where it really, I'm just giving it another coat, but I'm definitely trying to get into where um, I see any canvas underneath and that's why I got a little boo-boo there but that's not a problem that's not something I'm worried about okay I have my number four brush and I think what I'm gonna do is put a little um A loft window here a little window so if this is the center I'm just gonna come down right here I'm coming down about three and a half four inches and I'm gonna put me a line that's probably about two inches long and then this would be probably three inches oh it's three inches uh, two inches wide and about three inches long So I have my um, number four brush because it's small and I like to work with small brushes. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up some black and I'm going to come in here and just paint over this. This is off just a little bit, so I'm just going to fill this in a little bit. Okay. 
I do like that better. <laughs> the little loft um, window up there. I'm going to use some of my. I've got a. I've got black on my brush, and I'm just going to um, mix it with the white. What little white I have. I want a light gray if I can get it. And I'm going to come up here and um, fill in with this gray if I can. Okay, I've got to turn it sideways because i got to get over here and work on it a little bit. Um, this is not wide enough, so I need to make it a little wider. I'm taking off some of the barn, and I'm going to take off some of the sky to get what I want. So, I'm going to try to come around here. <laughs> and um, make me a, um, a board to go around it. And if you wanted to draw that out, you could draw it out. Um, I might wish I had, but <laughs> right now I'm not. And you know, it doesn't have to, um, to be straight because it, it is an old barn. It's just pretty red. <laughs> We're going to make some of that red fade a little bit. So. so I'm going to pick up some of my red on my dirty brush and I'm kind of coming in here and just marking through some of this just putting some color I want more red I don't want the gray I want red to come through because it is, it is an old born I've got what gray I had on my brush. I'm using that. I want to bring in a little more red. You can do that. So I'm just picking up the white that I had and some red. And I'm just kind of dabbing it on and that way I can just get in color. Different colors on there is all I'm doing. I like the way it's looking. I think I might be got a little bit too much. I'm going to pick up a tiny little bit of white and mainly red. some shadows that, I mean spots that didn't fill in the canvas because I see more. It's nothing. I don't want to kill all the red underneath. I just want to make it look like spots is faded. This red right over here where that gray was that um, I wanted to get rid of. Okay, that's too pink. 
pink because we don't want to pink more. <laughs> Although, once you put um, red on something, if you don't, the sun has a way of making it turn pink. So I'm going to get rid of some of that pink pink. And we're seeing some of our um, black underneath. We're, the black is still going to, I'm still going to do some more to the black. So. some white on and then I'm going to pick up red and go over it so it can blend good. I think I want a little more red in here. I'm just picking up that white and just trying to get me a little more shadow of uh, light in there. Faded. I want it faded. That's what I'm looking for. The word faded. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've taken my red and a little bit of black. red and black. So I'm just going over this with that red and black that I mixed and I'm just very lightly putting it on. So Trying to go back over where I um, the ones underneath, and then we're going to put a little bit underneath for some shadow underneath the the um, roof. Now some of it's going to be finer lines, some of it's going to be wider lines. That's what I want.
going. I think I need to come in here a little bit more. Some of these boards, it's an old barn, so some might be wider than others. <laughs> just putting shadow. I'm just coming under here and laying down some shadow. Now if I find that's too much, I'll um, bring some red in after it dries. out good for me <laughs> on mine anyway still got I think I got that too dark that's why I'm um, gonna work on it some more I gotta turn it sideways y'all I'm sorry I'm just going to bring in some more shadow under here. Now when a barn is old, when you build a barn, you want to use the same size um, boards. But as time goes by, <laughs> You may have to um, um, use different kind of boards to fill in. Old farmers always use whatever they can get their hands on. I like painting old barns like this. I just think it's so much fun. wider in here. <laughs> okay, and I'm just putting some darker colors in there to give some shadow some shade shadows. Can't talk. I'm going to wipe my dirty brush off. I'm not going to wash it. I'm just going to pick up some, um, I want to pick up some, I've got some brown and some black. And I just want to come in here and scrubble, um, scrub some of that on because I want to tone that black down a little bit. Mainly just got brown on my brush right now. Some coming back up here under these. Um, now I'm just going to pick up some black and rub it in on that brown. The, the black ha has a tendency to be really shiny, and I don't really want it shiny, so I'm bringing the, the brown in it to try to tone it down some. <laughs> 